On this episode of Function Beast Off Track, we're unboxing a box. We're unboxing a box and reboxing it. Evan Pitch, tell the ladies and gentlemen of the internet what you've acquired. Uh, it's a tool cart from Harborius Praetorius. It is uh, the most likely to get dirty item in history, other than your mom's, of course. Uh, mm. The white fucking tool cart. I actually quite like it. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. This one's definitely bigger than Zach and Paul's. The the version one. Their V one. Yeah. They have they. Our shop neighbors have the same style tool cart. It's the previous iteration, and it is much smaller. Oh, look at that. You can fold this all the way all back. The way. And it oh! Just... Oh! That's cool. Oh! We're not sponsored by Harbor Freight either. No, I mean, so, like, this is just completely free advertising. We might be at this point. I mean, geez, but... Yeah. It's like... Are they over there right now? But yeah, it's bigger than I thought, I guess. Yeah. This is, we're trying to, I guess, modularize the shop. Mobilize is what it really is. I just don't want to have to, I want to be able to have a thing, um, like a, you know, a tool thing next to me. I'm going to put all my most often used tools in this and be able to roll it around with me. That's why it's like the cart. We're um, trying to transfer form to more of a booth style thing because that seems to work better well and if i don't know if y'all use the internet um the, uh, basically i'm going to set this up as close as i can to the uh papadakis racing uh tool cart that like steffi pop uses um except that he has a bunch of things that he's going to keep that he keeps in his and i'm not going to use in mine because i don't use them every day like a leak down tester is not going in you know, I don't need a pyrometer in it, like stuff like that. So, yeah, we uh, we are of the opinion that uh, Stefan Papadakis probably knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he's he's probably got this sorted out. <laughs> ah. This one doesn't do the clothes. Oh, it's because it's like oh, flexed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's flexed. But they have little latches on them. That's yeah, that's interesting. That's I nice, really I guess, maybe. We got a some assembly required. Oh yeah, well that's normal flat pack stuff. Yeah. I was, try, I was just trying to get like the components out of there. Oh, this box, this is what adds a lot of weight. <sighs> Significantly lighter. Do you want to put it up? On like a table or something or a bench. I've gotten rid of all of those. Oh yeah, we threw out all the tables uh, because every single horizontal surface becomes a surface for collecting shit. So we threw everything this horizontal away. Only only verticals allowed. <laughs> but no, I'm uh, I mean I'm gonna just bolt it together on the floor. Probably We're like a hail mary in Madden. Probably only my, verticals. My fresh to death AC Delco. Um. You know. Did you just buy that? The AC Delco? Oh, oh, oh the... It's like brand new. Oh, this thing? I've had for... No, I thought that's what you were, you were talking no, about. No, no, I'm talking about my Oh, car. yeah. Uh, yeah, we've strayed from DeWalt by accident. On purpose. Yeah, no, I knew it was on purpose. DeWalt's 3 8 gun is fucking buns. I don't know. For, yeah, for whatever reason, they just made a poop 3 8 gun. As I say that, next week they're going to come out with those like greatest 3 ace gun in the fucking... Oh, those casters are pretty fucking beefy. They're going to come out with the greatest one. Those are like the same casters that you put on the car. Now, they're smaller, but not by much. I'd suspect that this has a lower rating. Those are 600 pound casters. I suspect these are three or 400 pound. But, you know, it's still pretty... Uh, it's enough for a tool cart. Like... <laughs> That'll get it around the shop. Yeah. As long as it'll roll over the electrical cord for the uh, my, my the, the lift. <laughs> my goal is for it to roll over a zip tie. 
if it does a zip tie, we're in business. Wow, well, enough hardware that it's daunting looking. The uh, side note, Steffi Pop's advice whenever getting any of these tool carts is the first thing you do is throw out these casters and get better ones, but like, you know, I'm not. Yeah, that, it looks robust enough. I mean, we'll see. Like, if it ends up that the casters do suck, or that maybe if I want four smart casters instead of two stable ones so I can roll it around differently or whatever, I'll do that when the time comes. Like, whatever, you know? Oh, I, yeah, you definitely probably want four smart casters. Having two that's, solid ones? That's literally what keeps me from rolling my toolbox around is that it only has two smart casters. Yeah, well, that, these add a great amount of stability. Once you add that four smart casters, you can be like, oh, I'm rolling it this way, and uh, it fell over, you know what I mean? Because the things can like hook under it, and then it goes over, so. True. It's, uh, you know, it ain't, it ain't so bad, but let's see these instructions. That's right, kid, read the instructions, which by my estimation are terrible. Hmm. It's more poor diagrams. And they don't give, one of the problems is I think there, maybe there isn't, maybe it just looks like there is. Okay, yeah, so there isn't. One's, some are just longer than others. I was saying, it looks like there's different kind of hardware, but I guess not. In any way, I can just pull this out. <laughs> well, punched a few holes for no reason, that's good. Oops. It was like so static clung, I thought it was like adhesive. <laughs> Is that like the where? What is that? The bolts? No, yeah. What is that piece? Uh, these are carriage bolts going through the. I'll call it the bottom shelf. Okay, bottom shelf. Oh, this—that's the tray underneath. Yeah. In the legs. Okay. And this um is what you put the casters on. At this stage of the game, I don't think it matters which side you put what on. Oh, scratch! I'm taking it back. <laughs> but uh yeah at, like literally i don't think it matters how you like install it right now you know what i mean i think it's all fairly irrelevant it was washer which doesn't fit okay the only way it fits is if the bolt falls out yeah. <laughs> the two can't occupy the same space at the same time it's excellent i like the engineering <laughs> What do you want for nothing? It was nothing, it was 200 bucks. It's like, honestly, a reasonable price. I mean, yeah, the price, pricing is down right reasonable. There are, and I actually honestly feel like the quality is pretty reasonable too. The biggest problem I usually have with them is like the whole uh, instruction thing is like, it might as well not happen. I have to name this uh, gun, the AC Delco gun. The only one I've come up with so far is uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Daca. <laughs> <laughs> is that, I believe that's an Anne Rice joke for those playing the home game. <laughs> They're like, we don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. <laughs> so, okay, so here's the thing. This is a carriage bowl, so you have to push it through. And then hold it with your fingies. Well, it's a carriage bolt, so you gotta get it into the slot. Because there's nothing to grip the top of it, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But then it also has to fight against the nylock. Like I don't know how many DACs I should give it. And yeah, that's good enough. Reasonable DAC, right? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What's, what's the AC Delco DAC in uh, comparison to a Dewalt DAC? Right now, this is a 450 foot pound tag. <laughs> All right. That'll fucking do it. We'll probably hold a caster wheel on. I don't want to give it any more than that. But, like I said, the first one's always the weird one. The first one is the weirdest. Feels like it's on. So, as per usual, both of 
smart casters are going to be on one side, and both uh, dumb uh, casters will be on the other. I guess these aren't even technically casters because they don't twist, right? Wheels, whatever the fuck. They <laughs> are, you know, yeah, whatever. Whatever you'd refer to those as. So. So yeah, we do that three more times, and then that's a track. Yeah. Best when we come back, we'll be doing something else interesting. Bottom. Done. Casters. Affixed. Next step. You can see how, like, on some of them, see how it's actually, like, this one's okay, but see how this one's actually, like, bending it in? That one's got an extra DACA. <laughs> like, if I wanted to, I could rip those all the way through the sheet metal with this stupid gun. It's 460 pounds feet of torque. Like, that's a lot. Yeah. It does more torque than my truck. I'd say it's, it's more than uh, these, like, whatever these are. I don't know, M8 hardware or whatever can take, that's for sure. Why don't you put it on the extra medium setting? Extra medium, it's not a bad idea. The upper ends of the posts measure one and three eighths from the top, and the lower holes measure one inch from the bottom. So, I'm pretty sure that's the one inch, and that's the one and three eighths. But I'll indulge them and actually measure it. Evan. Yeah. You can tell with your eyes. But I'll indulge. I'll indulge. He, do he doesn't have to measure. He can tell these things with his eyes. So what do we have here? Oh, one and three eighths. He's so surprised. What do we have here? Oh, one inch. <laughs> so the one inch goes on the bottom. So that's like this. And that's what starts using this other hardware over here. seem much shorter. Oh, this one actually fits easily. I don't have to press it through real hard like the other one. So yeah, so that goes there. And then is there a washer? No washer. Just straight to these nuts. <laughs> I understand that it's gonna look a lot better with the nuts on the inside. It's just much more difficult in terms of like tool stuff, but I'll probably survive the ordeal here. Probably. <laughs> the extension might be hurting me now, but it's still fun. Oh, that's just pure laziness right there. That's <laughs> uh, like way stronger than you'd think. <laughs> I have a feeling I should have tightened that all the way down. So this goes like this. I'll just, I'll just put it in with my little thingies first. Quality. So I kind of have to figure out which series of events this takes. Or if it even matters. It may not even matter at all. So this goes like this. That's a really good powder coating. Yeah, it's fine. It didn't scratch at all. It is like, it seems thick. Like the powder coating itself seems thick. She thick. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know if it's 
good or bad, but there's a lot of it. This ledge that we're currently creating here is also what the box sits on. The diagram is uh, very poorly described for this. Uh, I'm of the opinion uh, that if it fits, it chips. Yeah, that's the problem. It don't fit. But it might. A lot of it is just like a little bit of manipulation goes a long way. AKA every relationship I've ever had. <laughs> That's toxic. <laughs> One of the fucking funniest things I've seen recently is uh, <laughs> this girl, I don't remember her name, but it was like a thing somebody shared and she was like, oh, my toxic boyfriend won't let me sleep in my ex's house. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking hilarious. Which is like, oh yeah, that's fucking, you must be dating Dr. Doom on that one. <laughs> Second in line for Sorcerer Supreme. I don't like break the thing. Let me ask your opinion. Yeah. Should Dr. Doom be Sorcerer Supreme? No. Alright, case closed. <laughs> Is he powerful enough to do so? Sure. Um, but one of those really weird things about the Sorcerer Supreme is you have to not want it to earn it. It's a weird thing. The, uh, in the actual, like, comics or whatever, um, one of the whole things was that Baron Mordo wanted to be the Sorcerer Supreme, and the Ancient One was like, no, I'm giving it to this, like, random American doctor guy. And uh, Doctor Strange was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to be the Sorcerer Supreme. And that's what the Ancient One was like, and that's why it's yours. Because you don't, you, have, you can't, if you desire the power and status of it, you're not the one for the job. You have to be full on Jon Snow about it. I don't wanna. I don't know anything about Jon Snow. Um then both you and he know the same amount of information. <laughs> Good! <laughs> yes, I never I never gamed the throne, so I just don't know anything about it. Which tons of people will now send me death threats. No watch Game of Thrones, bro? No. We're we're gonna become Inundated with literally a single Instagram message. Yep. It'll be from like my girlfriend. Oh, he's so annoying. He's never seen Lost either. I've never seen Lost. I've never seen any of the shows that like everyone's like, you'll have to see. I've never seen Breaking Bad. I've never seen Dexter. I've never seen Sons of Anarchy. Dexter was not good. I've never really watched Breaking Bad. I saw a couple of episodes from the first season. Um, the only show that I've watched that people are like, you have to watch, which I don't even know if people said that you have to watch it about it at the time, was Battlestar Galactica. So good, such a great show. The, now now we've entered our territory. Okay, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> My cousins were real funny with that show. I have twins. I don't have twins. They're twins. Yeah, I was like, um, you're not your twin. Um, one of them was really into Battlestar Galactica, and the other one hated it. And the one who hated it always said, there's too much going on with the coffee lady. The coffee lady? Starbuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, who's the coffee lady? That was, it was like when she died and became like an angel or I whatever. It's like, she, there's too much going on with the coffee lady. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I didn't like that storyline at all. Oh, I mean, I she was, I, if my understanding of it is correct, she is literally Jesus. Uh, I think they framed it as she was an angel, I think was the deal. Angel. Yeah. I loved that show. 
I've also never seen that. But I did see seen a fair every episode of, of Angel. So there's always that. I fucking love Buffy too. Oh my god. So the cart's going well. <laughs> Uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. Uh, she appeared in Scooby Doo and that torpedoed her career. Really? Uh, I guess, yeah. It was like the one that they did was uh, apparently not very good. Oh, I, but, know. I know it was going to be. But um, she was also in the American remake of Juan, known to some as The Grudge. She was in that. Oh, okay. Um, Juan is uh, one of the scariest movies I've ever watched. Not the Grudge, the original, Juwan. Uh, I've never seen either of them. Um, I'm there, sure. There's like something about like Japanese horror that like hits me in like my animal brain. Okay. Where it's like real scary and I don't know why. Because it's scary from scary land. But oh it's it's God. like after something these about guys like wrote the. This, they went and they bought used underwear. This is crazy. Huh? I said because you're like after they wrote this, they went and they bought used underwear. This crazy. <laughs> you know, I've I've been there twice and I've never seen a used underwear vending machine. Really? Maybe I'm not checking in the right places. I say you but, might not be in the right neighborhood. But I also was like followed around in uh, I don't know prostitute alley or whatever the fuck it's called in. Um, Prost. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Um, we ended up accidentally walking through, like, past a bunch of, like, love hotels in um, Shinjuku. So, that was, like, a thing. We went to the Samurai Museum, which is around the corner from, like, Sex Street. It was weird. You know what? That lines up, though. Samurai Museum was dope. They talked about Darth Vader. Uh, he was, in fact, a uh, samurai. Even his, like, helmet was designed off of a Kabuto. Yeah, and it was, like, uh, apparently, um, Nobunaga Oda was, was the one. He had, like, the black armor, and George Lucas was like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> George Lucas cruising through some international history book, and he was like, oh, that's real evil overlordy. I like that. I like where you're going with that. Samurai Museum, Shinjuku. Check them out. They were cool. <laughs> Your first right past Sex Alley. Yeah, so that's that's how we learned to check the Google map route before you go somewhere. Yeah. I mean, it could have been worse. It's not like, you know, you didn't die. You know what I mean? It's not like you went through Yakuza murder alley. I mean, there were Yakuza there. You could tell. That's because you were in Sex Alley. <laughs> So. There's like a dude on every corner smoking a cigarette, and we're like, oh, Those are the pips, right? this is bad place. Um, no, they actually, they were guarding, like, the hotels. Interesting. I wonder how heavy this is, as is. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> you take that side. it more and more and it's cool because it's white don't lie this is a cool color it actually is he's right <laughs> nobody has it probably for a reason shocks next okay we seem pretty straightforward oh right what kind of nut did they use d's Honestly, like that's the thing. It doesn't. It's like, is this a nylock or not, bro? It doesn't tell me how many nylocks I got left. Five. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that extension is like from downtown. <laughs> yeah, it's like the least necessary extension in history. Yeah, that's pretty vertical. I'm sure you could probably adjust in some fashion. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Honestly, if it even tilted back a little bit, that might be what you would want. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty vertical, so. 
that's good enough for me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm not that picky. Some other BS. I got to all these things. Let's check the diagram. We end up doing these instructions, which is just checking the blowout diagram to see if you can see where things go. Okay, it goes up there. It's this thing. Little handle. Got a real handle on this situation. <laughs> what I've also <laughs> learned is that I have to undo one of these to put the uh, the other handle on there, which is fine. <laughs> It's completed. Seems good. I might get one. Yeah, it seems huh? like... You, know, you can buy it if you want. We're not sponsored by Harbor Freight in any way. This is one of those things where I'm sure, like, you know, only time will tell its quality, but Zach and Paul have the version ones, and, like, they still have them, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, they didn't break or they threw them out, so... so hardware and the hardware pile? This has been Function Beast Off Track.